Hello everyone, this is Ma'am Amano and this lecture video is all about sample problems on velocity. So we all know that velocity is the vector version of the speed. It specifies a direction. This is a direction wise. And the displacement here is the vector version of the scalar quantity which is the distance direction wise. And then we also have here the time over time. As you can see the formula is similar to the speed is equivalent to the distance over time. But the difference is that this one is specifies a direction, unlike this one, which is a scalar, all right? So let us have sample problems related to this. For example, the displacement is 40 meters and the time is 4 seconds. What is the average velocity considering that the displacement is at 40 meters going to the east, for example? So to find the average velocity, that is the uh, total distance or the total displacement, which is... Uh, when we are specifying a direction, we are talking about the displacement, which is 40 meters going to the east over the 4 seconds. So dividing that, 40 over 4, that is 10, and then meters per second going to the east. So this is the difference between the speed and velocity. Here, we specify a direction. And then, sample problem number 2. A caterpillar travels across the length of a 2-meter porch in 6.5 minutes. What is the average velocity of the caterpillar in meters per second? So, for easy reference, the first thing that we need to do first is to specify the given. We have here the total displacement of 2 meters or total distance in terms of direction-wise. And then time is 6.5 minutes. We are looking for the average velocity in meters per second. Since we have here the minutes, I think it is uh, more conventional or fastest if we convert the minutes into seconds. So, we have to convert first the minutes into Seconds. Converting that 6.5 minutes into seconds, we have here 6.5 minutes and the conversion factor or dimensional analysis that we'll be using is 1 minute at the denominator and the 60 seconds at the numerator so that we can cancel the undesired unit to obtain the desired unit which is the seconds. And then multiply 6.5 60, that is 390 seconds. Therefore, we already have the displacement and the time at the desired units. So, we can calculate the average velocity na. To calculate that, the total displacement is 2 meters over the time, which is 390 seconds. Dividing that, that will be 0 0.0051 meters per second here. And then, or 1, let me use this one, 1, 2, 3, or 5.1 times 10 raised to negative 3 meters per second. Either of the two is also correct. Is also correct. Okay? And then, sample problem number 3. You are driving an old truck along a straight road for 10 kilometers at 70 kilometers per hour. At this point, you run out of gas. You walk 2 kilometers farther to the nearest gas station for 30 minutes. What is your average velocity from the time you started your truck to the time you arrive at the station? So we are finding here the velocity. So as you can see, the distance or displacement and the time is not totally or clearly given so or directly given so we have to find that based on the pieces of data that we have here to find that to find the average velocity we have to find the total displacement and the time or the total time so to find that we have here the dis distance of 10 kilometers right and then 2 kilometers. So that will be 10 kilometers plus 2 kilometers. That will be 12 kilometers. So this one is direction wise because it specifies a landmark. So even though it doesn't tell whether it is north, east, or south, or west, it specifies a landmark and that is direction wise. So that is still a vector quantity. And then the next thing that we need to do is find the time. The time here is as you can see is the driving time and the walking time. Right? We have the driving time and walking time. So, driving time plus walking time. And driving time, when it comes here, driving an old truck along a straight road for 10 kilometers at 70 kilometers per hour, it did not specify an exact time. So, we have to derive or to calculate these data here to find the time. So, as you can see, we have here the given uh, distance of 10 kilometers and then here... 10 km, and then here the speed, speed at 70 kilometers per hour, right? So, we have to find the time, and we are using the triangular here. Speed is equivalent to distance over the time. To find the time, that is distance over the speed, which is the case of this one. Distance over the speed here, 70 kilometers per hour, 
over 70 kilometers per hour and then cancel the km unit you will be left out with the hour unit which is the unit for time dividing 10 over 70 that is 0 0.14 hours plus the 0 0.5 hours and galing yan that came from here the 30 minutes converting that into hours that is 0 0.5 hours so that will be 0 0.5 hours then 0 0.14 plus 0 0.5 hours and that is 0 0.64 hour so we have now here the time now, since we have here the total distance or total displacement and the total time, we can now find the average velocity which is equivalent to the total displacement of 12 kilometers and then the total time of 0 0.64 hours. Then dividing that, you will have 18.75 kilometers per hour. That is the answer. And then sample problem number four, I have here Samantha. Samantha is one of my former students. Samantha is driving her bicycle along a straight road for 4.5 kilometers at 1 kilometers per hour. Suddenly, her bicycle wheels went flat. She then walked 1.8 kilometers to the nearest vulcanizing shop for 2 hours. What is her average velocity from the time she started riding her bicycle to the time she arrived at the vulcanizing shop? Express your answer in meters per second. So, the given here, again, we do not have exactly the given or clearly given time and distance or total displacement to find the average velocity. To find that, we have to get the total displacement, uh, which is the cycling time and the walking time for the total distance, which is 4.5 kilometers, and then plus 1.8 kilometers. 4.5 kilometers plus 1.8 kilometers, and adding that, that is 6.3 kilometers. Now, let us have to find the time, which is the cycling time plus walking time. Okay, she bicycles. So, again, we have here the distance and then the speed. So, we have to find the uh, time by solving that. Using the time is equivalent to the distance over the speed, which is the distance here we have to 4.5 kilometers over the speed of 1 kilometers per hour. Cancel, cancel. You will have 4.5 divided by 1, that is 4.5, plus 2 hours, which is the walking time here. That will be 6.5 hours. And then the next thing that we need to do is average velocity. Let us find that since we already have the total distance and the total time. So that will be 6.3 kilometers over 6.5 hours. Dividing that, you will have 0 0.969 kilometers per hour. And to express that into meters per second, that is 0 0.969 kilometers per hour. To eliminate the kilometer unit, we have to use this dimension. One we're in 1,000 meters over 1 km. And then for us to eliminate the hour unit, that is 1 hour over 3,600 seconds. And then cancel, 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 cancel. Then operation, 0 0.1069 times 1,000 over 3,600 seconds. That is 0 0.269 meters per second. So that is the sample problems related to the velocity. Next, we have here the practice exercise. Hindi nyo kailangan isubmit to sa akin. Pag-practice nyo lang. This one and this one. We will be answering this on our lecture consultation. Again, you do not have to submit this to me. Pag-practice nyo lang yung problems na to. Alright? So, that is all for this lecture video.